holy cow, you're in production. Life is glorious and mayhem and all the ups and downs and good God, you, you still got to deal with SAG. <laughs> steps you have to follow in order to stay on the right side of SAG while in production with your independent feature. First of all, I'm a big fan of colorful folders. Big fan. These folders will be filled with the paperwork for each actor on their first day. You put their name on, you put a little pen clip to the side, and when they arrive to set, you hand them this once they're settled down. So the three mandatory forms in each folder for every actor to sign is the W-4 or the W-9, the I-9, and also the, the one-page SAG contract. When you're preparing an actor's packet the night before and you're printing everything out, you're going to refer to that deal memo and you're going to say, ooh, does this actor have an LLC? If they do, they sign a W-9. If they're just getting paid as their person with their social security number, then they sign a W-4. And everybody has to fill out an I-9 form. Everybody has to fill it out. Also, every actor has to fill out a SAG contract. And the other really important form on set is called the Schedule G. And the Schedule G is something that the second AD has the actors sign when they come in and when they leave set, just to make sure the timing of the day is charted so that SAG can see if they went over their eight hours, if they were given their breaks on time, and that basically that they were there. This packet of papers that you give the actors is only for their first day on set. The Schedule G happens every single day. There's a new Schedule G that's, that's generated and every actor, every time they arrive and depart from set, has to sign in and sign out on the Schedule G. In order for payroll to process the payment for all of these actors that are working on your movie, they require that you upload all of the paperwork weekly. All of these forms that you had them sign out as well as the Schedule G. This is week four for before, during, after. This is the upload. So you basically just go to Kinko's and you're like, scan this please. And the SAG requirement is that you have the checks for each SAG actor that worked on your film the week before by 5 p.m. the next Thursday. So let's say you've had a week right, of, of filming, and you've had all of the actors sign all their paperwork, and you've had the Schedule G happen every day, and at the end of the week, you're gonna upload to your payroll's website. You have between Monday and Thursday to have payroll mail out those checks. They send you this thing called the edits, and it takes about a day or two, so now we're talking Tuesday, they'll send you um, a PDF that's a couple pages long, and they'll say, these actors, these amount of hours, this is the wage that we're paying them. It's your job to cross check that each actor's there and that the hours that they worked are correct. Did they work eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours? Um, the days that they worked, how many days they worked? It's your job to double check that because if checks go out wrong, it's totally on you. It's not on payroll. So all of a sudden now you're talking about Wednesday, Thursday, and you might be emailing an actor about a missing W-4. And then by Thursday, the checks are mailed and the actors get them the following week. On our film, I'll fully admit, we forgot to upload a Schedule G from week one. And I realized that after we wrapped. So I called SAG and I wept and they were like, look, as long as the actor or the actor's agent hasn't phoned us to make sure that we reinforce this fine because the, the check is so late, we're gonna waive it. As long as you call SAG right away and you explain yourself and your honest mistake, they will totally work with you. What you have to be is someone who lets them know all the time that you are going to play by the rules and that you're doing your best. Hopefully, the person that is handling a lot of this for you is your production coordinator. That person does the printing every night. That person makes sure everything is signed. That person does the upload. And all you are truly responsible for is checking the edits when the payroll sends them over and you do that with the coordinator. So hopefully you have some help and you're not doing absolutely everything on your movie, including this, this terrible, terrible amount of paperwork. But again, it's worth it because while you're spinning your head all over the place about this paperwork, you're also like talking with these amazing actors who are acting in your movie. And in the end, the headache of this paperwork goes away and that face is on your film selling your film for you. So it's, again, totally worth it. Stay tuned for part three. After you wrap production and you get into a depressive state and you still have paperwork to do, part three. Subscribe.
come on, you know you want to. You know you want to make a movie and you know you want to tune into somebody else who's making a movie because it helps. It just helps. And here's another video I think you'll like. It's really cool. I made it. Hope you like it. Make your movie.